They seek to establish systems of government based on the regimentation of all human beings by a handful of individual rulers who seize power by force. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new, and it is not order. In a cage with invisible walls The wicked sight, guys of life Making grown men crawl On their knees, begging please Save us from the boogeyman Funded by the CIA Funnel through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck They hit you from the back No sweat, ho check And watch us shake And take away your freedom You really don't need them When you're tucked away safe And protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer Like the great pretender Ask the second amendment Why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth When it comes to September I'm a young from the roof and expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes To the matrix, this is going out To the truth as a patriot Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance What's up folks, Permanent Patriot here And I'm uh, going to be reintroducing the channel here Permanent Patriot uh, There's quite a few channels I have online so, uh, not necessarily going to be going in order here, but I'm going to take you through uh, all of my sources. So, just because we're starting with All News Pipeline, that doesn't necessarily mean we're going in alphabetical order here. Nevertheless, AllNewsPipeline.com, very reputable site. Uh, you'll get many different points of views from here, from different people and, and different reporters. Let's just take a look at some of the stuff they have on here. Obviously, we're going to discredit all the Hillary stuff. I'm sure some of these stories are a day or two old. But I just wanted to take a look at uh, a few of the ones that a lot of us truthers have been calling on for the longest. For instance, election night viral. Does mysterious NWO Illuminati card hint at upcoming political assassination attempt? Have they had enough? Let's see what that card is. If you don't know about the Illuminati card game, uh, we'll be going through that as soon as we hit the Illuminati sites. This is one of the cards they have in there. And it looks ominously like Trump. Says enough is enough. Um, if I remember this card right. It says something to the effect of... The people have had enough of the lies, and they're ready for another change. Enough is enough. Yet, when you see what these cards are played for, there's certain uh, you know dice rolls you get and stuff like that. And it, I don't know, there's the game here. You can click on it. It's uh, very interesting. Yeah, there you go. If you said Donald Trump, you're not alone. And after recent threats allegedly made by Mexican drug lord El Chapo, who is allegedly offering $100 million for the capture of Trump dead or alive, this Illuminati card game is being looked at suspiciously. Especially considering recent political rhetoric dished out by several of Trump's political rivals 
including Clinton, Jeb Bush, and Chris Christie, as seen in video one. Enough, they shout, almost as in unison, in reference to Donald's antics. Well, the CIA admi recently admitting that they themselves were part of the cover-up of JFK's assassination, as shared in this new story from Politico, click on the link, accidentally legitimizing the JFK conspiracy theories. Does this card foreshadow another Illuminati assassination attempt on U.S. soil? It appears the card. It appears in the card that the bullet misses its target. We should all pray for the safety of Donald Trump and are grateful that he appears to have a staff of very well-trained people protecting him. Yes, he does. Uh, but anybody can be bought off. And the premise with this whole thing is that, uh, and this is even in the Bible, that there's going to be an assassination attempt on somebody who will, who will literally bring change to America for the good and will be assassinated. However, he will survive the assassination and it basically says at that point Satan will bring out his true colors and reveal to the world who he really is. So, good, not so good. Uh, this could mean that, you know, Trump survives the assassination and he reveals himself to be the devil. And that will be the last president we have. Or it could also mean that, uh, you know, something having to do with Barack Obama. Because I think he's fucking, <laughs> he's ripe for the fitting. This is back on July 25th, 2015. Susan Duclos published a story on all news pipeline called Donald Goes Head On Against the NWO in which she outlined for us exactly why the establishment wanted Trump out of the picture. We now made it almost three months later and not only is Trump still around but with over a year left to go prior to the 16 election, Trump still leads the Republican PAC and as stated in his recent story on CNN, he has no plans to go anywhere. In fact, the New World Order, Trump has been a human wrecking ball. And that's from her story published July 25th, 2015. Okay. You can click on any of these colors and bring it right to the links. You get a lot of different takes from everybody. See some uh, video on it, Illuminati playing Trump assassination. Uh, it's just really eerie, this card game they got. And uh, definitely be taking a look at that a little bit later. So that's just one of the articles that I found interesting. Is uh, see where the other one here is. Uh, it says, is Hillary suffering from terminal brain disease? Ties with witch covens, cannibalism, occult rituals, and child sex trafficking show the darker side of the Clintons. Like I said, this, evil, this, this woman is pure evil, as well as her husband, but she's even worse than he is. She's really the one controlling, she controls the Clintons. She wears the pants. I think everyone knows that. And the next one, Obama signs a new executive order ordering America prepare for global pandemics days before election as U.S. border agents warn of coming cataclysm. And another thing I've been warning about is uh, false flag terror attacks. You know, Obama is still the president until January 20th. Remember that. Countdown to chaos. Terror attack warning for Monday. How far will Obama go to prevent Trump from winning the presidency? Obviously not far enough. But then, uh, 
I believe it's over here in the alternative news, which is where you'll get most of the conspiracy news. And uh, Obama makes staggering endorsement of Donald Trump for president as globalists prepare to complete their takedown of America and install Queen Hillary. I don't think that was so, because last night, as soon as, right before Hillary called and conceded to Trump, the White House went black. Turn all the lights off, so I don't think they were too happy. You just read some of these stories, and uh, I mean, this is just unreal. The amount of news I got in here. This isn't just you know they got many different writers here. Uh, you could you could be a contributing writer, contributing editor, whatever you want here, but. Uh, these are all very credible. Uh, you get many links to them. It's an outstanding news agency they got here. It just goes to show you the power that you can have if you want it. Uh, a lot of warnings from Putin. Mm, I'm not sure if it was... <laughs> On here or the other one. Putin checkmates Hillary Clinton and the globalist as insider warns. We might all be dead soon. Unveils Russia Satan too. Country destroying super nukes. Yes, Russia has a new nuclear weapon called a super nuke, and they named it the Satan 2. Dire warning, World War III warnings. Or might begin before U.S. elections. If you want a war, you'll get one everywhere. And that's what Putin said. Uh, like I always say, Russia and China... Two countries you do not want to fuck with. Especially when it comes to a world war or global power. Now there's another interesting one about Putin. Well, he pretty much said, if Hillary Clinton gets elected, we're starting a war with the United States. That's pretty much what he said. And there's a lot of talk going around lately, obviously, of uh, the Kremlin, or mostly Russia, but I mean, you know, other outside groups, possibly China, that are hacking the internet and uh, influencing the votes for Trump to win, because uh, Trump is very good friends with Putin. Um, this may be, may have been on the other one, not sure. The election night doomsday on the minds of millions of America prayers for chaos is insider warns false flag of all false flags may be on the horizon. I see a lot of people were thinking that false flag would probably occur before the elections if Hillary's campaign was in trouble. But like I said, Obama still got till January 20th to do whatever he's got to do to stay in office. Um, still looking for this Putin one. See a lot of I mean, Hillary. There you go. Future of the Republic has a Hillary Clinton body count documentary called "Serial Killer for President." Might want to check that one out. And while you're at it, check out True Legends. 
You'll notice the Illuminati eye, the blackface Satan, and extraterrestrial demons and UFOs. This is the, uh, the Vatican knows all the secrets. This is just incredible. I highly suggest everybody check it out. It's incredible. Uh, maybe even planning a fake invasion, fake alien invasion. These people will do whatever it takes to stay in power. Uh, so, well, this isn't it, but this basically sums it up. Russian general has alarming warning for Americans. And says we're teetering on the brink. And they warn the globalists trying to turn the entire world into uncontrolled chaos. Don't get it twisted, folks. These people are all in the game together. Like I said, it's like pro wrestling. I'm sure I'll, uh... There's that one again. I'm sure I'll find it <laughs> when I'm not looking for it. But, um, yes, I'm very sure that there, there's going to be some, something's going to happen here. Um... Not to mention the video of Hillary saying, if I'm elected as president, we will bomb Iran. So, I guess that, <laughs> that could be fucking good. Um, at the same time, the shit with Putin ain't no joke. Uh, I guess it's good to have somebody in there as a friend, but... Here you go, mysteriously WikiLeaks Twitter outages after government warns public election results vulnerable to attack U.S. hackers to interfere with election. Again with the fucking hackers, man. Now something needs to be done about that shit. We need to get the National Security Agency in fucking order here. Get everyone, the Department of Justice, everyone in fucking order here with this hacking shit. It's a major threat to our country, and I'm fucking sick of it, man. I'm ready to sue the fucking pants off of people. And they're getting in everything. And you just can't do any fucking thing nowadays online without people watching you. Or interfering with you somehow. It's, it's unfucking believable Come on over to All News Pipeline. Take a look around. Hell, there's even prayer requests. Just go there and do your own research. Best mix of hard-hitting real news and cutting-edge alternative news on the web. So that's it for now. We'll be getting into some more, uh, not necessarily going in order, but we're getting into some more sites. Uh, and all sorts of different stuff from, you know, hidden ancient secrets to ancient technology and future technology. Going to be really touching a lot on that. Stuff about God, stuff about Satan, stuff about love, stuff about hate. So stay tuned, subscribe to the new channel. That's it for now. God bless Gary on. Don't tell me words don't matter.